Hello friends! In this Well Done Wednesday, I show you how I made a couple sets of wooden dice. And hopefully you tell me how I could have done it better. Stay tuned. I had a piece of walnut and maple laying around, and I thought that the dark and light would make a good contrast with each other in a set of six dice. So I took the maple to the table saw, and I set the fence just a thickness away from the blade. And then I ran each board through widthwise to get the width and thickness the exact same all the way around. And then I proceeded to move my fence just a hair closer to the blade because I had some wood burn that you might have seen on the maple earlier and I wanted to get rid of it by shaving off just a hair. See? That looks much nicer now. The next step was to take my crosscut sled and measure out the thickness of each of those walnut and maple pieces so that the dice could be perfect cubes. As you see, the stop block was put at the appropriate spot. One quick pass of the blade to make sure the end is square, and we're set to go and make a whole bunch of cubes. I thought it would be nice if these dice had a home, so using some scrap oak from a previous project I had lying around, I cut it up just a hair thicker than the dice themselves. Then this is what happens when you set your small tripod on a vibrating table saw. Once everything was cut for the dice cases, all that we had to do was glue it up and nail in the bottom. I wouldn't have really even needed to nail in the bottom, but I only had some old warped 8th inch veneer laying around, and nails were the best way that I could get this to go on. And as you can see, again, it's not the best idea to have your tripod on the surface where you are nailing or sawing. And here I am taking the time to pound in the holes for the dice before I drill them. I'm sad to say that at the moment the chuck key is missing from my drill press. So I had to make it work and I used a drill press and I freehanded every single hole. Just remember that errors are design options and they give every project character. One of the last steps was to take the dice over to the belt sander, smooth down each face, and sand over the sharp edges. With the glue on the holder dry, I took it over to the table saw and I squared up all four sides and the top. All that was left to do now was to add a whole bunch of polyurethane, let it dry, and hope that this giveaway idea would be enough to attract some new subscribers. And there you have it. They're a little rough around the edges, but that just gives them character. Um, you know, with, with the case sitting on a table for game night, it makes a, a fun conversation piece. And, um, you know, give them to the kids to throw around. They can't hurt themselves. Dice are kind of fun. You know, I, I thought of this idea because I was pinning on Pinterest and I saw some beautiful ones of Paduk and Purple Heart and Walnut and I thought, ah, oh, those are gorgeous and they look like a piece of cake to make. But clearly, I had some issues. So, I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, bye.